We also learn from our friends. Can you tell us something a friend taught you? After last week, Greg doesn't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> After I was born, I didn't have any friends. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Toastmistress, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests. It was early April 1985. I remember that because it was mere weeks since I earned my California driver's license on, May, on March 7th of that year. I was 16. I was looking for a job. It's Saturday morning. I was cruising around, lots of fun. And while I was driving down the main drag, Turtle Rock Drive in Irvine, I saw my best friend David, whom some of you might remember from such speeches of mine as projectiles with cholesterol and opportunity knocks. I was totally excited about seeing him. I sped up, waved to him, hey, what's up? He was in his mom's Ford Fiesta. I was in my dad's. Chevy Citation X11, he kind of blew me off and drove away. What the? Looked up, there were three <laughs> men pushing a car. I was 15 feet away from them. OMG, that wasn't a term in 1985. <laughs> Just like, went around them, sped on, and here I am today. Every so often, my mind drives down memory lane back to that particular moment on Turtle Rock Drive as I was this close to committing triple vehicular homicide before my 17th birthday. And David taught me, always be prepared, always be observant, because you never know what's going to happen to you. He was more, he was more observant than I. He got out of the way and enabled me to do the same thing. And three men whose names I do not know, I don't even know if they're alive, went through their lives never knowing what didn't hit them. <laughs> <laughs>